Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using this Painted Harvest. And now, I'm 75% sure this isn't being carried over. I never saw it when I sneak peeked in the new catalogue. So I thought I'd use it for the last time. So I am going to be doing the flowers and the leaves. For the sentiment, the happy birthday, I've used my favourite one, the clubhouse, and using that happy birthday. The card I'm using is a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Have a piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a piece of gingham, what two pieces here? Piece of gingham paper at five and a half by three and three quarters, which goes over there like that. Um, then I have a piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white at five and a quarter by three and a half, and that's going to go on the inside. I also have a scrap of crumb cake for the sentiment. I also have a bit of cream lace which will go over the front. All right. I'll put that to one side and we do need some scrap of white. I've already done two of these because I've cut them out so I've done two and I'm using Grapefruit Grove. That's what colour this is, sorry. Grapefruit Grove Gingham. And I've done cut out two. So we need three leaves and a sunflower. So to get started, we'll do the sunflower first. Right. It doesn't matter what order you use these stamps. Well, I don't think it does. Um, and you don't necessarily have to line them up. Like these two, you can see I lined them up differently. They both go out quite nice flowers. So this is the top layer. What I will try and do is see if I can get it to line up. Now the hole on this is different from the hole underneath. There you are. That's come out quite nice, that one. Right, so we're finished with that. And we've got crumb cake for the centerpiece. Now, I'm just going to Not going to let me colour in that. That's it. And then I've got some little dots here, which I put in the middle. I put a few. There we are. So that's our sunflower. We'll cut that out afterwards. While we've got crumb cake, we will. Stamp our sentiment and we'll just stamp that down there like that. And that has just come out like that. We'll cut that to fit afterwards. Right, I'll finish with that. Bring in old olive. 
and we're going to do some leaves. Now we've got two leaf stamps. One's just a plain stamp and one's got the vines on it. So we use the plain stamp first and we'll stamp down three and then we'll get the vine and we use these vine veins. Now what I do is I line I don't know if you can see that that way where the leaves meet with that there so I try and line them up I don't always get it, oh that was a good one They've come out quite well. So, right, that's our stamping done. Now, what we're going to do is punch out the leaves using this leaf punch. This is also going. But I'll keep using it. All right, there's our three leaves. One more chop up, and then. The easiest way I've found to do cut this out is cut it round in a circle, making sure you don't chop off the petals, and then just go leaving a little white gap. And just go around all the petals, moving the paper, not just scissors. Nine times out of ten, it's been too far away, so you can't see it. I have trouble cutting it when it's not close to me. I'm just going around every point. Notice how my scissors are staying still, but my other hand is moving the paper around. Would have been nice if they had a um, die for this set. I 
think next week what I'm going to try and do next week to you that should be because you'll see these it'll be the beginning of May oh my god we're in May already well we will be when you see this At the moment it is the 25th, I think. 25th of May. Right, that's that done. Um, we just need to sort this sentiment. And cut up there. And... Cut along there, and let's do that straight. It's better. Right, so we've got our flowers. Our lace. And our cardstock, so that is for the inside. Let's just do that first. Make sure we've got the right. Yep. So. When you put this gingham on the inside is because I've got so much of it left. And it seems to all be grapefruit grove and the yellow one, pineapple punch. I've got no balmy blue left. This on here. And then pop this on the card front. Put this on. Whew. That was a save you, wasn't it? A bit of runner tape either side, and we'll stick our tape uh, lace on. Now stick it down. Round two. Um, dimensionals 
and we'll put dimensionals on our flowers. Right, one flower. I'm just going to put them across the middle. And the other one I should just put three on. Right, sorry about that. It's my sister phoning me. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, putting on the dimensionals on the back of this card. So, I've done that. Let's stick these on. Right, this one I want about there, I think. Hang on. Do the stickers that way. And then we'll put this one underneath. Like there. And then this one. Can go underneath there. And then we take our leaves and we'll just glue these underneath here. Now on this one I cut off the middle one. And I folded these so they were together, sort of. And they went in the top here. Like that. And the one that I cut off, I just popped to the side there. So let's glue these in. Under there, and that one in there, and these two. Just in there. And then the last one is this one. Right. Next we want to put our sentiment and we're going to put that just there. So we need to put some mini dimensionals on the end here. One more. And some glue here. Just so it will stay on. Right. I'm going to stick some glue under there and under there. And next we want some gems. Going to put three of these on. I'm going to put one there, one up here, and one up there. And 
and that is our card. Yeah, I did do. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.